Hello, and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the third grade concept of explaining equivalent fractions. This is standard 3.3G in the great state of Texas, and we are using item number 18, which is a new item type called inline choice with the 2023 released star test. If you haven't done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and we will look at our answers together. All right, so let's look at how inline choice works. We've got some sentences here, and there are three different blanks we need to fill in. This first one has just two options, either three-sixths or two-halves. The second one has three-fourths, one-half, or two-sixths. And then this last one, they have some words that we need to put in here. Now, this is a two-point problem, but if we only answer two of these items, it is going to give us a warning that's saying you have not answered everything. So we need to answer all three points, all three questions, but it's only, like I said, a two-point problem. So let me show you how we can actually score this. And so what we're going to get here is we're going to get, if you get all three correct, that gets you your two points. Two points get you three correct. If you only get two correct, you're only going to get one point. You get zero points if you get one correct or zero correct. Obviously, zero points if you get none of them correct. But even if you get just one correct, you don't get any points. You need to get at least two points. But let's get two correct to get one point. Let's get both points. Let's get all three correct. So we have point U on this number line. Okay. So what do we know about this number line? It represents equivalent fractions. Okay, so first let's see what this is supposed to represent. Okay, so what we do here is we know we have a fraction. We know we have a numerator and a denominator. So the denominator, let's count how many spaces we have. Okay, so I've got one, two, three, four, five, six. Between zero and one, I've got six spaces. That's my denominator. So that's going to be the number of spaces that I have in between. 0 and 1. My numerator is going to be the tick mark that it's on. So let's count tick marks between 0 and 1. 1, 2, 3. Okay, so this is 3 sixths. That's how you represent 3 sixths on a number line. If you wanted to, we can represent 3 sixths. Let's see if I can draw one here on Let's just do 6 like this, right? I could do 3 6 like this. So here's my sixths, right? And I can shade in 3 6. Let's, let's do the draw feature here. Let's go 1, 2, 3. All right, so either way, you can represent 3 6 with just a fraction. You can represent it on a number line. You can represent it with, you know, shapes. But we need to find an equivalent fraction. So what else is 3 sixths equal to? Well, this is where it gets tricky because the same point on a number line can represent multiple equivalent fractions. So let's look at this because hopefully we noticed before we started that that U does look like it's halfway in between 0 and 1, doesn't it? And so if I were just to draw a big line like this, that's right in the middle. And that point U is going to be halfway in between. So it looks like 3 sixths, right? Because I've got three chunks on this side, three chunks this side. So it's even. So those are two big chunks. So it looks like 3 sixths is the same as 1 half. Let's see if my picture can help with that. So let me draw a picture. I'm going to draw two shapes that are identical here. Okay, and this one shape I'm going to make into six just like I did, and this other shape I'm going to make like that. And what happens if I do it like this? Well, what if I do my one half? And what if I do my three six? That's the same amount. All right, so we can say point U represents three six or one half. They are equal because both are exactly halfway between 0 and 1. 